Good morning, my name is Kinan Rafianta Erohyudi And my name is Andrew Sarah Alexander Sitomarang We are from Gaur Jutuni Chandakia Jidai Hasko And we would like to present our results of research on SSDR Smart system to detect presence We all must have gone to the supermarket and saw someone buying watermelon When they want to find a ripe watermelon, they tap the watermelon and put their hand on their ear A ripe watermelon will make a heavy and full sound This method is less accurate because it only relies on their sense of hearing But everyone's hearing is different most people in Indonesia really like watermelon, and they always want a ripe watermelon. But if it is unripe, they will not like it because it has no taste. And that's why we created this machine. This machine will knock a watermelon with a solenoid, then send their data over to a sound sensor, and then display it to an LCD. And the data that is displayed on the LCD all depends on the watermelon's ripeness, so you would be able to know what's ripe or not. The materials and tools that we are using for our project is number one, an Arduino uh, Uno microcontroller, number two, a sound sensor, number three, a toggle switch, number four, push buttons, number five, an LCD screen, and number six, a solenoid door lock. This machine is in the form of a box with a size of 20 times 20 centimeters, made of acrylic materials and filled with com electronic components. The ramen will be put in the cup part of the machine and will be hit using the solenoid and will make a sound frequency that will be read by the Arduino microcontroller and will be displayed by the LCD in three kinds, which is ripe, almost ripe, and not ripe. The table that you are seeing on screen right now is the frequency spectrum of the watermelons that we have tested. And as you can see, the riper the watermelon is, the lower the frequency that is being caught by the, uh, by the sensor. But why is that so? To calculate the frequencies that are being outputted by the watermelon, we also have to calculate two things, the modulus yang and the firmness index of the watermelon. This is the modulus yang table. Modulus yang is a measure of solid stiffness or resistance to elastic deformation under load. You can see the modulus yang decrease with the age of the watermelon. This is because the riper the watermelon, the more elastic the skin and the flesh is. This is the firmness index of the three watermelons. And as you can see, the riper the watermelon gets, the lower the frequency that is being outputted on the firmness index. This is in accordance with the theory that in the agricultural world, as the, as the pulp ripens, it will soften, and therefore the frequency that is being outputted will be even lower than it was when it was unripe. In conclusion is, this tool can measure fruit ripeness faster than the normal method, and this tool can measure fruit ripeness by sound frequency. And the video that has just been played on the screen is my colleague Andrew testing the machine for the first time on an unripe watermelon. Our recommendation for using this tool is to get the most precise feeding out of the tool, let the solenoid hit the watermelon for up to 10 seconds to get the final and most accurate value. That's all from our group. Thank you very much for watching and good morning.